The places where we live, work, shop and just hang out are influencing our behaviours and therefore our health all of the time, whether we're aware of it or not. For example, the restaurants, takeaways, cafes and supermarkets in what we call our food environment, these offer up the possibilities for both unhealthy eating and healthy eating. Some food environments can make unhealthy choices the easy choices. Others support healthy diets and make it easier for us to maintain a healthy weight. And don't just take my word for it, the scientific research is linking the state of the nation's high streets to our collective waistline. A key question then, if they're so important, is just where are these unhealthy and healthy neighbourhoods? This is where the Food Environment Assessment Tool, or FEET as we like to call it, comes in. FEET has been developed by researchers at the Centre for Diet and Activity Research and the MRC Epidemiology Unit at the University of Cambridge. Now while FEET has been developed with public health and planning professionals in mind, it's online and free for anyone to use. Welcome to FEET. Explore neighbourhood food access across England, Scotland and Wales. Seven geographic levels of food access estimates, including all 1.7 million postcodes. Detailed maps of six different food outlet types. Food outlet proportions and population adjustment. Time travel made easy. Custom selections, so you can easily compare your town or city to others. With summary data produced in report-ready format. No data collection and no data processing required. Feet lets you find and measure how neighbourhoods like this, full of coffee shops, grocery stores and independent takeaway food outlets differ from this, where there's less variety of food outlets on offer, and to do this quickly and easily. Or to record how fast this part of town became a foodie hotspot. So put our feet first, the latest science and data to help improve the food environment. Should we get something to eat?